You are watching Unlevel TV. My name is Balash Garland. As you can see here we have the HP Mini 110 in the background which we are going to unbox now. Let's check out first the technical details of this black version. So we have an Atom N455 inside which supports DDR3 RAM. Um, not the newest Intel Atom processor but they are actually all about the same even though the dual core one is much faster. Um, 250GB hard drive space, webcam, 10 megapixel, uh, 10 mega. Now, 10 inch uh, matte display, um, 6 inch battery, and multi card reader, Wi Fi, blue, uh, Bluetooth. I'm not sure. No, it's no Bluetooth integrated, but you can upgrade that for yourself pretty easily. And we'll uh, tell you how. So, we have a quick setup guide here in the beginning what you should put where, how the multi touch works, and what the in and outputs of the device are. I will tell you all about that later, of course, myself. So we have the device itself here. We will check it out in just a second. Let's see first what else we have in the box. First off, battery, um, 55 watt hours, so you will have up to seven or eight hours of wireless surfing on minimum brightness, I would say. Then, of course, the charger. It's not too big, not too heavy. The cable is pretty strong, so that won't break for sure. And we don't even have a status LED on this. Three poles on here, so this end is huge here in Europe. In America it will be maybe smaller, but uh, this cable is at least not so long, so this is not as heavy. And then, of course, we have a warranty card in here with some phone numbers worldwide and some help for the EULA, what, um, is, what I'm not sure about what that is. And then we have, of course, the device itself which looks like this. This is the black version. It's glossy outside. The HP logo is only printed on there. It's not glowing or anything. On the bottom we have a matte surface which you can completely take off just by um, pushing this yellow guy here to this side and pulling at the same time. And then you have the whole innards of the device right here. RAM, your hard drive space. You can just unscrew your hard drive. Um, you can put a a 3G module right here, but the problem with that would be is that you don't have the connector built in, but there's a Wi-Fi card right here. As you can see here, the two cables are going that way, but this doesn't have um, Bluetooth, so you have to upgrade that also if you want that. And of course, the Microsoft sticker is right here beyond, be, um, under this, so it's um, protected from anybody else's eyes. And yeah, that's actually it from the inside. The SIM card reader would be here, but as I said, this is not the 3G version. By putting it back together, you just have to put, press it everywhere down, and then it's done. Let's check out the ports. We have a headphone and microphone port in one, USB 2.0, um, hard drive activity, LED, fan, VGA, power. On the, the back, we already had that. Kensington, two USBs, uh, both of them 2.0, that won't put out power if it's off. Then we have um, a power on and off switch. SDMS Pro and MMC card reader and the LAN port is right behind this little fella here which is rubber so it won't fall off but it's only 10 hundred mbit. On the front there is the uh, two um, speakers which are pretty nice and let's put in a battery and open this little fella up so you can see how it looks like. The um, battery doesn't stick out in the back almost at all and you can open the display up to 180 degrees which I love because if you are having a presentation standing next to the table you can clearly read what's on there and you don't have to like go back and see what's on the screen. So, <coughs> excuse me, we have a webcam, a microphone and a pretty nice keyboard right here. Um, space button is a little bit too loud for me but of course you can get used to that. Uh, shift is pretty large. The FN and function keys are um, switched, but you can um, switch that back in the BIOS of HP. Then we have a nice large touchpad for multi-touch. It's well, kind of okay, but scrolling would be a little bit hard because it's not that um, um, large to the top. And then we have two mouse buttons right here, which feel really amazing, professional, not too loud, and you can work really good with that. And that's actually it from the 
HP Mini 110 unboxing. Thank you much for watching Level TV. My name is Balash Gal. Until next time, tune in again. Um, thank you much, very much for watching.